This is the grade eight math practice test for T and Ready. Question currently number seventeen. For twelve hundred dollars, a business can post an advertisement for thirty days. For fifteen hundred dollars, the advertisement will be posted for sixty days. So I'm going to just make a little chart over here because that's kind of what I do. Thirty days, and I'll set the days are here, and the cash is here. Twelve hundred bucks. And then for 60 days, it's 1500 So the big issue here, why would I put days before cash? Well, when you do this sort of analysis, you want to have an independent variable and a dependent variable. The independent variable will happen no matter what. If you don't even use this business, those days will still pass. So they're the independent variable, which makes them the X. The cash is dependent on you doing something. Like you have to assign a specific amount of days in order for this to even be, exist, so that's the dependent variable in Y. The relationship comparing cost to days is linear. That's important. Makes a nice line. And anytime you see linear, you might want to go ahead and chart out your pathway with the slope intercept form. Which function can be used to model the relationship between cost and number of days that an advertisement will be posted? I've said it on some other videos, but the thing about this form that's nice is it's easy for you to convert it into a useful form. All it's saying is, what can I multiply, if I insert an X value, so say 30 days, what can I multiply it by and add to it directly in order to get the matching Y value? So what can I multiply M by, or 30 by, and then add something to it, and it gives me 1,200. Also, in order for it to work, I would have to be able to multiply 60 by that same M value and add this piece here, and then I get that matching Y value. So where do we go from here? Now, we know that, or you should, that the M value represents slope. So this is the part that involves change, which is to say each time you add more X, you multiply it by this, so it means the overall value of Y is going to go up unless it's negative, and then it goes down. And this is the constant term. We're not going to worry about that yet. We will eventually get to it. So where do we go from it? The first thing I'm going to do is use this to find slope. This is x and y, right? y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Or if you just want to say change in x, or change in y, divided by change in x. So how much this goes up or down divided by how much this goes up or down, because I'm really measuring when I measure slope, how much it goes up based on how much it goes over. So just be aware that you have to put the y's on top when you do slope. Now, uh, this is two, this is one, this is two, this is one. So when I do, I just want to subtract really. This is 30, 1500 minus 1200 gives me three. And this is a calculator section. If you don't want to sit there and piddle with all the numbers, obviously I was working on the previous problem there. Um, you can do that. And then, of course, 300 divided by 30 is just 10, but just to prove it, there you go. So this is the value for n. That goes right there. So y is equal to 10x. Now I have to worry about b. I really don't. I mean, there's only one that has 10x in it, so this problem is absolutely done. I don't have to continue to move forward. So if you're in a test and you're in a hurry, this is a great way to get the answer quickly and then move on to the next one. But where would we even come up with this 900? Where does that come from? There's a few ways you can do it. You can use point slope form, um, which I'm not going to use just because I don't want to. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is find the value for B. I'm going to pick one of the two points. Let's pick this point. Since we know that this substituting in this x with this m, uh, whatever the b, once we find that, we should be able to match it. I can actually kind of reverse engineer this. So for my y, I'm just going to choose the 1200. The only way this method doesn't work is if you mix and match. Don't mix and match. And in this case, I'm trying to find b. The m is the one I discovered earlier. The y value is just this term 
and the 30 is the matching term. Don't do like 60 here in 1200 or do 30 here in 1500. Make sure you have the ones that match together. You could do 60 and 1500 if you so desired. 30, uh, 30 times 10 is 300. And then you just solve. Since I'm trying to get B by itself, it says plus 300. I'm going to subtract 300. 1,200 minus 300 is 900. And again, I'm not doing it in a calculator, but you certainly can. This is a calculator section. Feel free to. Uh, so that positive 900 goes right there. And I'm going to do a test just to make sure I'm right. Um, which technically, if you wanted to from the beginning, you could make your pairs and start substituting in values and see if they work. But I'm going to do it at the end. I didn't want to leave that out of there. That's an option, too. Like, if you know that 60 and 1500 go together because of that, um, you could always just start typing in the numbers. See how that's way too much? Um, but I think it's this. I don't know where that minus came from, I guess. I think I'd, when I erased something, it went away. So plus 900. Or I forgot to do it because I got talking about something else. I'll do that too. See? Substituted in 60, got 1500, so I know that this is my correct answer. If you're really lost in this situation, if you can remember, if it's linear, always connected in your head to this, it could really help you. Um, since you know the groups together, you can start substituting in 30 for x here, and remember this is multiply. You just type it in until you get 1,200. It's probably going to be the correct answer. Um, if it doesn't give you multiple choices, it won't help you, but in this case, it absolutely could. So why wouldn't you consider at least? Most of you will never need to do that. Um, I'm just telling you that that is one thing that you could do, but I'll you know find the slope and then find the intercept, and it should get you to where you need to be, and you can finish this in no time. I just wanted to take a little more time to show you all the options um, so that you could make the best score possible.